All right, YouTube, it is Monday morning. We're headed to open the gym and train day, I believe 64 is here. So the main focus for this week is to bring back some intensity coming back from the shoulder or the pec issue. It's still bothering me, of course. Um, uh, re-injured it Thursday, deadlifting, or not re-injured it, just re-irritated it. I will say I was encouraged over the weekend doing some, I guess, rehab stuff that I could do some dumbbell work without pain, uh, lightweight with some uh, high volume. So that'll be the plan for once I actually press this week and all that stuff. But going to deadlift, going to try just double overhand grip today, I think. Uh, or change up my deadlift grip since my normal reverse grip messed it up or re-irritated it. So that's the main focus for this week. The holiday is over. My stress is relieved for now, uh, leading the store. So I've got no excuses. Uh, we dropped under 200 last week, which was cool. Finally felt so good. Uh, weighed in at 200.2 today. So dripping back down after the holiday bloat. So I'm just ready to keep pushing, uh, keep going, and uh, get after it. So, time to go train. What is going on, YouTube? Day 64. Uh, first off, wanted to say happy Thanksgiving to anybody who celebrated over the past um, week. Uh, and if not, I hope you just had a wonderful weekend and all that. So, day 64 here. This is the first training session back in the gym since we kind of re-injured ourselves on the uh, pilgrim squat video. Uh, so the workout wound up being much better than I anticipated. I went in kind of with a bad attitude, if I'm honest. Um, it was mostly just because I was frustrated uh, about not sure what I was going to do. Um, but uh, as far as about the shoulder, the pec, like if it was just going to be a thing where I was going to get a little bit better and then get hurt again. So, but anyways, uh, it wound up being much better than I anticipated. I actually quite enjoyed the workout that we did today. So of course we're going to warm up first. We're going to squat all that stuff. I apologize. I was a dummy and didn't clear out my phone storage before started filming. So I figured out I didn't have very much storage left on my phone. So that's why some of the sets and reps are missing like right here with the front squat. I'm already up to 135 with the band on it. So the change we're making right now with the squat programming is instead of a three count pause, we only did a two count pause. So a uh, new exercise, so it's something uh, different to do anyways, but we did uh, 135 through a doubled up mini. We're going back through the bands. Um, uh, then we jumped up here, uh, tried 185. Uh, it was a no-go. So. But anyways, starting back, no big deal. Uh, anyway, so with the deadlift, we're going uh, conventional grip, uh, double overhand, uh, which is quite hard for me. I've got little weak forearms and wrists. That's why I do the mixed grip. But uh, needed to figure out my baseline for this before I can kind of do any programming forward. So did 225. Uh, jumped up here to see what I could do. No go on that. So now I know somewhere where to start with. Uh, and then the goal for the rest of the workout was honestly just straight volume. Didn't feel like doing anything heavy. Um, uh, like I said, I kind of had a bad attitude. So it was like, I'm not going to do anything heavy. I'm just going to do volume. And I actually was able to do way more volume and uh, sets than I anticipated. Uh, we kind of got warmed up here with some V-bar cable pull downs. We did three sets of that, superset it with the cable face pulls with the bar. And then I was actually able to do wide grip lap pull downs, surprisingly. Hadn't been able to do these with the injury. And I never thought I would have missed lap pull downs. I did five sets of these and I enjoyed every freaking set. Uh, this is towards the end, if you can see. I'm building up a little bit of sweat under the pits there. Um, uh, yeah, it was sick to be able to do something that I hadn't been able to do in several weeks. Uh, finished up with some cable rows. We only did three sets of these. Um, uh, 
using the little straight bar here instead of the longer wider bars actually is much better for me and my lat engagement so I was just, once I was able to do the lat pull downs with the wide grip I mean my mood entirely changed so um, uh, yeah we enjoyed the rest of the workout we did the cable rows and then I just finished up with two sets here of the under grip rows uh, as just like a lat finisher uh, I take that back we did add some banded arrows at the end because I wanted to throw in some uh, more volume but today was just strictly volume based strictly set based you know super pumped that my weight bloat was only 200.2 so we're still floating around under 200 the weight should drop this week uh, get back under that and then we finished uh, up with our lunges here uh, lunges felt pretty good today uh, you can see I'm not wobbling I'm not taking a step in between things felt pretty good uh, I'm just trying to get a sense of normalcy back in the routine now that I don't have the holiday stress the holiday pressure in between Christmas and just figuring out how to best utilize the remaining days that I have to get the most out of this 90 days and this is one of them one thing I'm starting in addition to the reading and journaling I'm still on that is starting a training log that I write my mood how I felt what felt good what didn't feel good just to add a little bit more attention to detail to get that 1% better each day so we filled that out that's going to be a new staple so that's day 64